Today is 25th June. Exactly this video, I'm going to find out whether what is the tenant exposure that my own Capital DC REIT has. Uh, as of recording, I am a Capital DC REIT shareholder. Please exercise independent thinking. What got me to record down this entire video was due to the news that happened to Digital Core REIT, the second biggest tenant uh, in his portfolio had some financial difficulty. When I saw that particular news, it wrote that the second biggest tenant was contributing 20% to his revenue. Wow, that's kind of a huge number, 20%. Can that same thing happen to Capital DC? What you see down here currently is that uh, there is a digital core business and operational update uh, based on April 2023. Uh, so now I just zoom in, you can see that the top 10 customers where I want you to focus on is actually this part where I'm going to zoom in right now is the top four customers in their portfolio. It is contributing a range from 10% to 40%. If you do, a, if I do do a quick math, right, that's probably around 80% of its revenue. So that's kind of a high exposure. What? is the results for Capital DC. So likewise, uh, in the business and operational update for Capital DC, Capital DC listed the top 10 clients by rental income. So of course, what you can see is that there's one, uh, the green color, which is contributing 35.5%. With a 35% exposure by the biggest tenant in Capital DC and 80% tenant exposure in Digital Corey, even though for Capital DC, it is lower, but I still want to go and find out is there a way that we can reduce? This is the key lesson that I wanted to bring across to you. If anyone says that investing in REITs is straightforward and simple, yes, it is. But please do not make the assumption that all REITs are the same. With that, uh, if you have a more REIT in your portfolio, uh, I would suggest that you watch this video. And if you'd like to learn my framework of investing in REITs, uh, you can watch this playlist.